Hello everyone, I am PurpleLink33. Welcome back to another edition of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we took a break from the mess of that. We got that one, Eventide Island, taken care of with a couple of uh, Link's Awakening reference. Koholit Rock. We awoke, in the, we awoke the Windfish. That's what we did. We awoke the Windfish. We also beat up on some uh, Talus over here, the Tawajin Shrine, and then over here... Pumagnita Shrine, we beat up on a, we beat up on a Guardian, a Guardian Scout. This time, we are going to complete the Shrines. That feels so good to say. That I'm going to complete something. That feels really good. It has been a few months since I've been able to say, we're going to complete something. What are you? Hi. Are you... Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I have no idea who you are. Or why you're there. Aside from being someone for me to save later on, because you got uh, run into... You ran into some uh, bacoblins. You notice there's really only bacoblins, maybe a couple moblins that are, that attack people. They're not even that strong. Although I think there was one time I saw a silver bacoblin involved. But that's a whole other thing. We're heading to the blue dot. The blue dot is down on the beach. We have a ways to go. Oh, that's the uh, that's the other shrine that we could that I could have warped to, um, but I chose not to because I'm like I don't want to go warp the shrine. I don't want to do that. And bye. That one gave me seventy two dollars and some bananas. Still don't have it run into the into the guy who will sell me, like, a lot of bananas. Haven't run into him yet. I will sell you 99 mighty bananas at 99 rupees each. For the record, never take that. I don't care what any of the, any member of the Yiga clan says. There is not a mighty banana alive that is worth 99 bloody rupees. Ever. Unless you've mixed it up into something and that's just different. Because that has an effect with it. That makes sense. Mighty bananas by themselves, not worth 99 rupees. And if they paid 99 rupees for them, they're dumb. And that just proves how dumb the Yika clan are. We are going down here. And I believe this person is going to send us on a fetch quest. So smooth and ancient. You are creepy as hell. Your skin is so smooth and gorgeous, my little Roscoe. Oh my god. She's gonna do nasty with that orb. Hmm? Someone's watching us. Oh my sweet Roscoe, you're so shy, aren't you? You are, are, are. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. We're not proud to show off your beauty. You, re you really must come out of your shell. Hmm? person watching us looks like... Is he after you? Don't you worry, my sweet Roscoe. I would never, ever, ever let you go. I'm head over heels for my special friend who's been around since ancient times. You're so ancient and special, Roscoe. Yes, you are. Sorry, my sweet Roscoe. I bet I feel a little. The truth is... I want to see guardians! You are crazy. Flying ones, small ones, ones that walk around. I want to see guardians in all the world. Not the ones around here that were rusted away either. I want to see fresh and lively guardians. Aww. If I ever do get to see them, I may just have to leave you, my friend. <laughs> well, don't you worry. Getting a guardian is too dangerous for me. Flying ones, small ones, ones that walk. I'm afraid seeing guardians like that is nothing more than a dream. Within a dream for me. Guardian slideshow. Okay. 
small guardians, flying guardians, and guardians that walk around. Welp. I'm pretty sure I know where I can find at least two out of three. And I'm not sure which kind of guardian she wants for the small one. I know it is one of the scouts. Whether it is two, three, or four, I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure it's not Guardian Scout 1. I don't want to look it up. I don't think I need you to look it up. I really don't. There is no need for looking this shit up. It's easy. It's actually not easy, because you have to get close enough to, hey, look, a flying guardian. All right, this is going to be difficult. We have a... Yeah, we'll keep... We'll replace that. Guardian Skywatcher. Guardian Stalker. Well, this is uh, a little easier than I expected. We're already two for three. I'm going to take a picture of this one and see if that's the one she needs. We're also going to beat the hell out of it. Eh, we may not. We may just warp out. I should have... You know what I really should have done? I should have dropped the medallion down there. Just so I can warp right back to her. Give her something shiny to look at. In we go. More loading screen. Yay. Not as bad as Sonic 06. <laughs> just end of story. Not as bad as Sonic 06. That's a game I just... I couldn't finish it. Could not finish... Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, partially because, well, for multiple reasons. Part the first is, I don't have an Xbox 360, uh, and I moved away from the person I lived with that did. Hi. Since that had the thing on it, it had the uh, exclamation point on it. I think we're good. But yeah, I could not get through that game. Because there's, there's actually... I think what actually got me was there's one stage that I just couldn't... I couldn't glitch through it. <laughs> That's basically it. I couldn't glitch through the stage. It was ridiculous. But whatever. Uh, back over to the girl who is really, really too into Guardians. Like, I mean, I know Zelda was into the Guardians, but not that much. I thought I fell off that. I really thought I just fell off that. You know, I want to check something. Because we're here. Is there something up here? No. I mean, I'm sure there is, but... Not exactly where I was looking. Over to creepy, creepy guardian stalker girl. Under a giant mushroom, actually, is what it looks like. I'm, I know it's not. It's a Korok. Hi, sweet Roscoe. I'll show them to you. Hmm. Someone's speaking. You'll show me a guardian. My God, that look on her face is creepy as hell. 
Hey you, could you please not bother my Roscoe and me? Here you go. It's not like you can show me a guardian or anything. That image, that's a flying guardian. Well, I feel alive with terror just from gazing at its beautiful form. A small guardian. Aw, it looks so vicious for its tiny size. Adorable. Hold on, if you've been able to show me two types, that, then that must mean... A walking guardian! I can't believe it! Nothing could be more dangerous! What an exhilaratingly scary sight! Oh, what a joy. Hey you, give me that box, okay? I want to look at those images every single day. No. You can't? I see. How unfortunate. Guess I'll have to burn those images into my imagination. Can I have that orb? Huh? Hmm? You mean Roscoe? I'm sure that weird sphere thing is all yours. I'm really, I'm over it. What about guardians now? If I, oh my god. Give me that. She's now gonna head over to the... To that guardian over there. Here, you want something ancient? Let me show you something ancient. That's ancient. Guardian slideshow complete. Okay, I gotta see how creepy this is. And this is that? <laughs> you are the inspiration of my imagination. You really are. Yes, I've been daydreaming while recalling those gum how those wonderful guardians you showed me. You're weird. I'm gonna steal an ancient screw. Ancient screwed at the Shoka Tatone Shrine. It's right here. In we go. There be two after this one. I'm pretty. Sh I think this is a blessing shrine because we did a bunch of stuff. I am incorrect. It is a modest test of strength. Of course, after. Of <laughs> I almost want to drag her in here. You want to see a guardian? Here, I'll bring you up. I'll bring you up close and personal to one. Good luck. Hi. Give me some food. One minute ought to be fine. No. You will get nothing in like it, sir. Flawless victory. Get a core out of that. That might be our last uh, test of strength. I think that's the last one. We open the chat, we open the box, we find a royal broadsword. Don't mind if you do. Like a bow, though. I'm, uh, running a little low. Might be after uh, I get done recording this episode, I might have to go and get a bunch of those. That's Spirit Orb. Six. There are two left. There are two Spirit Orbs remaining. I mean, the game's practically over. I mean, there's only just 300 and some Koroks left. This is not much. I'm actually going to go get that one that's on top of the uh, of the rock that she was under. Because there's a rock up there. And that, that, in all honesty, that really only means one thing. And one thing only. So, uh... Let's go get it. Oh. I can del delete that. Yeah, haha. Yeah. One hundred and thirteen. 
And we're gonna head over this way, toward that yellow mark. These last two were kind of doozies, actually. One of them requires the amount of uh, an amount of timing. Which is going to require me to be... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just going to require timing. That's this one. The other one, I believe, is a trip through uh, another sandstorm. That is a Korok Seed. Can't pass it up. I mean, we're at 300 and some left. Might as well get them all. I mean, I might as well, you guys. Bitch. Damn it. Most don't let me shoot you. Bitch. Use that one. Alright, wait for it. I'm really hoping there's only one. Oh, thank God there's only one. Yeah, haha. -ha. I don't like you. You or any of your kind, I don't like you. Uh, we're a volley. How long until your gale is ready? Four seconds. Cool. Now. Rivali's gale is now ready. Thank you, Rivali. I believe we're going to need to uh, change into the climbing gear. One, two, three. Um. Up! Perfect. Good kind of piece of shit. I really don't care. Seriously. Game. And it just got cold. Trust me on this one. You just get all three on. Uh, how the hell close are we? Oh. Other side of the peak. Up we go. So. What we'll be looking at here is to grab a snowball. And we're going to have to eclipse a pedestal that's on this side. Nice. Climb we must. Climb we shall. Over here. Read the mountain peak log. First page. This log is, a finding, is my findings concerning the shrine that sleeps on the snowy Gerudo Peak. Day one. I come to the snowy mountain intending to find the ancient shrine that was written about in an old text. The shrine slumbers near the pedestal on a snowy Gerudo Peak. I believe I've arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the passage. Day seven. What happened to two through six? It's been seven days since I arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the ancient texts. 
Unfortunately, I'm eating through my food provisions more quickly than I anticipated. On a brighter note, I found an exp explanation in the source text that may be the key to this riddle. When the snowy mountain pedestal glows, cast a cold shadow onto its core. I noticed a faint glow to the pedestal for a short while each day, but how to cast a cold shadow onto its core? It seems this, that this calls for further research here. Day, I don't remember. I can feel that I'm a hair's breadth away from unlocking the secrets hidden within the pedestal. I'm certain that casting and cold refer to using a specific type of shadow. But I've run out of food entirely, and I doubt now that I've ever had the tools to do the job, whatever they might be. Secret of the Snowy Peaks, Icky Snowball. No. I did want that. What's over there? Just a thing. Um, I believe... We're gonna want to light that on fire. Sit until noon. We don't have very long. No, I don't want that to melt. I believe we require to roll this around a little bit. Get that snowball a little bigger. Rivali's Gale is now ready. And here we wait. Please. Be right. Be right. It's enough! Thank you. On uh, my first playthrough that took me forever. Not to figure out what the pro what the puzzle was, but to kind of figure out, it's like, okay, how do you want me to do that? Secret of the Snowy Peaks now complete. Um, uh, and the... Where'd you come from? Been there long? I didn't think so. I almost wonder if when I come back that that uh, thing thing has been complete. The Sumasama Shrine. And down we go for the penultimate shrine. Uh, the Korox seed the Korox seed is a Proton John uh, stream reference right now. Five 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 no <laughs> Sumasama's bless Sumasama's blessing in the box we will find. What's here? A moonlight scimitar. My inventory is full. Well. What are we gonna drop? You. We're gonna keep the moonlight scimitar for right now. Could you have been a bow at least? Fine. The penultimate shrine, penultimate, a word I love to use. Seven. Again, there is but one more shrine. We are at 119. One shrine remains to bring us to 120. And then we go get the things that they will grant us. 
one of the side quests that we have not done yet, we've not unlocked, we've not even heard of as of yet. But at least we can get there fairly quickly. Where we want to go is first over to Karakara Bazaar. And we're going to want to get on some better, uh, some better gear, I think. Because it's now going to be hot. The exact opposite of what we've been doing. I'll get those heart containers off screen. No, no, we'll get the heart containers on screen because where we have to go is a goddess statue anyway. Link is not roasting yet, but... Oh, he will be. Up and over. Oh, for some reason I thought that was a, a rock. No, it's the marking of what statue that is. That's, that's good. 91 degrees. Would help if I didn't have the flame blade on. We're heading over to Karakara Bazaar. Where we gave the guy his icy treat. His icy elixir. Up we go. And over we go. That way we don't have to deal with uh, trudging through the sand that uh, as much. We'll have to do a little bit. But not that, not as much. I may even do it again, just for fun. I just realized we're actually going to be needing that, that cold gear again. Because <laughs> it's getting chilly. Now approaching the Karakara Bazaar. And we are out of the sand. There is Beetle. Oh, Beetle, what do you have? No, I'm not even going to talk to you. I am going to talk to you. Yeah. Thanks for coming to see me. And, oh my god, you have a Beetle! Energizing Elixir. No. No, 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 no. Go away. What do you got? Um, arrows. I'll always take arrows. Thank you. No, I didn't want to stop. And those arrows. Thanks. Um, you know what? Let's just sell off my diamonds. Do not need all of them. 2,000 rupees. You can have the diamonds. Enjoy them. And I'm done. Okay. There's a guy here who will tell us about a shrine. His name is not Guy. Not gonna leave yet? Pansy. Puppy. Waddle that down. Robston Benja? Um, it's not any of you guys. That's where Ronson was. It's over here. Another Gerudo Scimitar. Hi. Hi. Single arrows. Yeah, no. Up there. Sandstorm. They say it sounds for a few hours a day, but it hasn't lit up even a little since I've been watching. Rumor has it an ancient civilization hid a treasure inside that sandstorm. Mm. I've been here for days waiting for the storm to settle down so I can nab it. I just hope it wasn't a bad lead. Wait, who did you say you are again? The Eye of the Sandstorm 
This will be our final shrine quest. As we now head into... The Sandstorm. There is a reason I marked the Sandstorm, or I marked the Shrine. And I said, yep, that was a Redless Alphos, I could have beaten that with an Ice Arrow. Where we are going is... Give me that. Nope, you don't get that. Going this way. There is a skull there. Gonna kinda try and steer as clear of it as we possibly can. And we're gonna need to put on some colder gear. The shrine is nearby. Bye. Um, that was easy. It's not supposed to be that easy. Game? Are you trying to go soft on me now? Here it is. The final shrine. The Dakota Shrine. It is now at this point we have unlocked every waypoint we possibly can. Every single one. The Eye of the Sandstorm is now complete. All of our shrine quests are now complete. There may be a couple that I didn't uncover, but we've completed them. I'll uncover them at some point. Uh, just to have that, you know, that line of completion, because I want that. And of course, they're not going to make this one easy. Electric Path. The Dakota Shrine. That tells me I'm going to want to put this stuff on. All right, so what do we have here? Dead? All right, here this is. I think I see what I have to do, and while we're at it, let's get that taken care of. Because I'm willing to bet... Yep. I'm going to want to keep that, aren't I? Well, oh, first things first. Let's grab that. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Ancient core. That's good. Nope. 
And here we go. Grab that, there's a Moonlight Scimitar. <sighs> Inventory is full. Okay. Fine. I won't keep any Moonlight Scimitars then. No. How'd I make that? All right. Okay. There's a crystal there. Okay. We have that. I'm starting to wonder if there's something over there, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it. We'll go all the way through to the end. Oh, there's a lot more to this. Can I go? Thank you. Okay. What in the hell do we need to do here? Um... I'm gonna repeat that. What in the hell? I have a feeling I'm gonna need this. You coming? Did the block go back? What is this? Why is this here? There's a reason that's there. There's this treasure chest here. Give me a silver rupee. Thank you. Nope. It's not here. Where is it? down there. I am really forgetting how this goes. Come on. Come on.
I have a feeling I'm gonna need that. Don't fall. Ah, that would have killed the, uh, that's those there for. That's there to kill the Guardian Scouts. So let's take it with me. Here we go. This will not be easy. I could go there. Alright, go here. No! Um, somewhere to fall. Somewhere to fall. No! Not what I wanted to see. Okay. We do it again. We go, we, we go back to the beginning. And we fought a Fizzini. All of this effort for one goddamn chest. But that one chest gets all of them in the shrines. Thankfully, thankfully, oh, excuse me. It's one chest. We just have to get to it. Okay, start moving. Thank you. I'm not there yet. I don't like this. We're fine. Ready? Made it. Radiant shield, I'm I'm okay keeping that. I'm gonna say please don't tell me that I'm gonna lose that. Alright, so we wait for the platform to get back. That officially confirms we have gotten every chest and every shrine. And going back to here. It's not gonna tell me how oh that's right. I have that's a thing I have to do after. And come on back. Incoming. No. All the way down. It's worth the heart. I am bored waiting around for this thing. Let's become a goddamn hero. Now we look the part.
Yeah, we look the part now. Although Edna Mode would not be happy about Link's, uh, Link's outfit. No capes. I can't believe, I, I, I totally did not realize Brad Bird, <sighs> who is the director of The Incredibles and Incredibles 2, is the voice of Edna Mode. We're going to let this all play out, actually, this time. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. With this ring floating in the air. That is our final spirit orb. You have at last conquered all of our trials. Having fulfilled our purpose, we monks bestow upon you this, the warrant of the true hero. You must now depart for the Forgotten Temple. A gift for the monks! It is a side quest that we're gonna get. May the goddess smile upon you. We can skip that because it's all the same. That's it. But there is one monk remaining. We heard about him through the uh, the EX Champions Ballad, the DLC, the Maz Koshia. Maz Koshia? He has one final trial challenge for us. It's not a shrine. A little bigger. Oh, it's hot. Not that I need to be searching for shrines anymore, but that's why I wanted to do this shrine last. But I got to that point where it's like, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just go and do it. Here we are. The final shrine complete. We are left with 345 Korok seeds. I'm going to try and do them in, like, short order. So, like, maybe mid-August we're done with this. The Ronacocta Shrine. Have no need to go back over that way. We go back here. There are now three treasure chests. But before we do that, I feel it must be worthy first. Give me my 27th heart container. It appears you still possess spirit orbs. My last one. 28. You will never get 29 and 30 unless you cash in the uh, your stamina vessels. Link, it appears that you have sufficient power. You should not seek to increase this any further. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. That's it. Inside here, the spoils of war. The Tunic of the Wild. Oh, crap. The armor, this armor was apparently crafted for a hero who travels the wilds. Strangely enough, it's just your size. Box number two. The Cap of the Wild. According to legend, this cap was crafted for a hero who travels the wild lands. Wearing it just feels so right. This is looking better and better. One last thing. The Trousers of the Wild. We now have... that. That looks like a link to me. Oh, crap. I didn't read the thing. 
Supposed to read the thing. Legend to say these pants were tailored for a hero who travels a wilderness. Strangely enough, they're the most comfortable pair of pants you've ever worn. I do believe we need to pay our favorite, our favorite great fairy a visit. And a gift for the monks is now complete. Visit the fairy. And then there's one more thing I want to do before we cut this episode. Because it's only appropriate, in my opinion. But of course, that's just my opinion. You guys may not like what I'm about to do. But I'm going to do it anyway. Sorry. Great fairy fountain. Great fairy. Oh, great fairy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sleeping underwater is not a good idea, as it turns out. No, it, it's not. <laughs> can we have your clothing uh -huh. enhanced? Yep. I know you can. Let's do this. Mm. Enhance my hat. That's the wrong hat. Well, that's fine. That's that's fine. I know, I know, I know. Enhance away. All the way to the end. To the wild. Skipping. I'm gonna skip all this stuff. Yes, I'm gonna do all of this on screen. <laughs> yep, looks enhanced to me. All the way to the end. Mm -hmm. Cap of the wild. <laughs> Enhance away. And the trousers oh. of the wild. That is level one for all of the of the wild set. <laughs> Hands away. It's all we can actually, actually it's all we can uh, upgrade now. Mm -hmm. Cap the wild. Cap the wild, a coarser bee honey and ferocious claw. This is what we need all those dragon parts mm -hmm. for. Link's playing hard to get. Oh. Another one down. I wish it would just let me go straight to it. Oh. Tunic of the Wild. This one needs Nadra's Claw. Mm. Skip this one. Uh -huh. Ooh, it still played it. Mm. Yep. This one requires Dinral's mm -hmm. Claw. That is done. <laughs> Enhance away. Energetic Rhino Beetle and the Shard of Ferocious oh. Fang. We have two extra ones. Oh, she's going in for that. Oh, I, I was supposed to play the full animation. I'm sorry. <laughs> Enhance away. The Tunic of the Wild, Nadra's Fang. <laughs> Enhance away. And the, and the pants. Enhance my pants, please. You can kind of see where this is going. What? No. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I need star fragments for this shit. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, motherfuck, son of a bitch, goddammit. I am not happy. Well, you know what? We're going to show it on camera. As much as I don't want to take the time, I think it's time to show you guys my, my top secret farming technique. 
Not really top secret. It, I found it on YouTube. It takes a while. And this is going to require some heavy editing on my part because it's going to take a while for me to actually do this. And we're going to keep the video going because why not? So we come up here to Dueling Peaks. We get cold. I'm not cold anymore. We come up here. We do the right thing and drop some wood. Kind of set ourselves up to view this way. You want to have um, off to your left side. You can you can kind of see uh, Vonoboros over there. Castle just off to your right. We're gonna get here till nighttime. And now we wait. Yep. We wait. Sometime during the night time, if this happens without fail, a star fragment a star fragment will fall from the sky. We need three of them. You wait here, um, and you kind of track things. Uh, you kind of track it uh, from this particular point. Um, this is a good reason to have um, a lot of firewood. That way you can uh, pass the time. This is what took me the longest to power all of my stuff up. And this is what's going to take me the longest to get everything else powered up. This will probably be a kind of a downtime between maybe when I get the next Koroks. Because uh, I'm probably going to take a few, uh, a few days off of recording. Because I've done like six episodes in two days. I know, I've done more than that. 77, eight episodes in two days. Damn. I've recorded a lot. No, seven episodes. I can do math. Really, I can do math. Seven, seven, eight, nine. No, this is eight. I did five yesterday. I did five yesterday? Holy crap. Hell of a way to start July. It's starting to get to be prime time for, uh... The Star Fragment to Fall. But now you know why in episode one I was like, I really want to get that. So I wasted a Star Fragment on the, on the cap of the hero. Because I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm smart, really, I'm smart. I promise. Probably keep all of this one in. That's why I'm still talking, actually. <laughs> the other two will just cut to when it happens. I think these can fall as late as like 2.30, 3 o'clock. But at 4 a.m., it's either 4 a.m. or 4.30, they vanish. The star fragments just vanish without a trace. That sucks. Which is why when you get when you get up here, follow the fragment down. You'll mark it on the map. You'll actually follow it down with your uh, Sheikah scope. Mark it on the map and then warp to the shrine that is nearest to said um, star fragment. See, I almost think they got the brightness too bright on this right here. Because it's daytime. You look at the sky, it is daytime. But whatever. I really wish you would fall, Star Fragment, and, and I wouldn't have to deal with this shit. I can even watch it on two screens right now because I've got my, my recording going here. Why couldn't it be like the red star fragments, which they, you hear them go and they fall like immediately? Um, 
falling asleep. No, nope. <laughs> I love that. Link's like, I'm being a hero. I'm being a hero. <laughs> what? No, no, I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. Uh, nice and sleep. Well, I'm awake. Just gonna be the hero. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm awake. Seriously. Okay, back to watch. Got it. There it is. We ping it. And warp right to it. I have to do this three times. Well, three times on screen. And then make sure I do the right one. Well, actually, it won't be hard to do. because It won't be hard to miss that because I all three of these are at 18 power, or 18 defense. So to power up the right one will not be hard to do. And it's raining. And it's, no, even worse, it's thunderstorming. God damn it. I don't have a single... All right, we don't have a lot of time. We're going over to that uh, that spire right over there. And while we're doing this, we may pass some Korok seeds along the way. I'm not touching them. I'm now single-minded in my quest. Hi. Not even gonna fuck with you. Leaving. Bye. That is one. One. I have to do that two more times. Oh God. What have I done? Now what sucks is the wood that you had dropped here is about gold. I still have a flame blade, right? Okay, good. I still have a flame blade. I was gonna say I know I still have a flame blade. Now, what you actually want to do, sit till morning. I have heard this. I have not actually tested if you just go straight tonight. You sit till morning, kind of reset things, and then light that again. I usually let it get to 505, and then sit till nighttime. And then we wait again. You guys shouldn't need to wait this time. I'm just gonna wait myself. And I are and future self isn't tomorrow future self already hates me for this. Because I have to be up in like seven hours from now. And I still have to get two star fragments and cl close the video. Or cut the video and then get my computer closed up. I'm not going to bed till midnight. Just how this is going to work. So, waiting for the star fragment. We'll be back uh, when that star fragment comes up. So, see you then. More. Okay, this is a mistake apparently. Bye. Well, you know what? I think we're just going to leave that Korok. We're going to go full circle back to the great fairy that initially saw us.
Terra? No, that's not Terra. Co-Terra? Yeah. I think that one's Coterra. The first one. Then again, what do I know? I'm just a guy who plays video games on YouTube. Thinks he's good enough to do that. And then, the nerve of the guy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, bunny. Bunny. Give me enough time to respawn. Bunny? Oh, bunny. Damn, I missed that one. And this... will fully power this up. It is Gotera. Okay, good. Welcome back, boy. Enhance away. Don't screw it up. I want this one. Yes, I do. Whap! <laughs> All right. Enhance away, please. Part the second. Link is getting all sorts of lucky tonight. I mean, all sorts of lucky. Enhance my, enhance my, oh, you, you know you gotta enhance my pants now. Enhance my pants, please. Yep, she enhanced my pants. <laughs> Can't do anything else. <laughs> and what did she do to us? Well... The of the wild set is 28 each. It goes to 84 to a max of 84. Now, if we use that in com in combination with this, oh boy! But there's a problem. That looks really good for Link. And it's it's a great armor set. I, I love it. I use it actually a lot. I, I use it a lot in my other playthrough. Um, actually, com in combination with the champion's tunic, because that is a <laughs> it's 88 power, and those four little points surprisingly uh, make up some good difference. But we uh, we have some more we want to do. One last thing before we cut the video. I think these these clothes are so good. They could be to die for. And boy do I mean die. What's up? I wanna die. No question, kids. There is no other color. Bing. Thank you. <laughs> hold your breath. Wait, hold my breath. What? What do you mean? 
What do you mean, hold my breath? Um, oh shit. That we did. Purple Link approved. I uh, find that palatable, absolutely. Of course you guys knew I was going that way. Now it, now it looks good. Next time, let's play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're going to try and mix a whole bunch of these together. And I mean a whole bunch. Like, I'm going to try and cut, like, 50 or so into one video. Because... We're at, I'm at that point. We still have these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five chests down here to get. All of the Gerudo Desert. All of this area down here. Don't I gotta worry about that? That's done. All the shrines are done. Hi, Horsey. Again, next time, let's play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Do some more Koroks, because that's all we have left. Well, except for the Trial of the Sword, uh, the final bit of the Champion's Ballot, and of course, the big guy himself in there. Not that Korok in there, in the Sanctum. We will see you guys then.